Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, Tube? It's Ricky Python. As you can see right here, I'm in my military uniform. Mind my own business and shit. Chilling. Fucking heat is on like a motherfucker, though. Yo, the hunt is on. My dudes, beware of the welfare Section 8 Queens. Because in New York City, those programs are still going on. Chicks in the shelters, trying to get their little come up so they can get their own apartment, trying to get the little vouchers and stuff. Shh. Yo, the money's gone. Now, the dudes who never got no time of day from these chicks who never gave them anything at all, not even a date to the movies. Or uh, just to get to know the person and stuff. Now's now's your time. It's your time now because your time is like this. That chick gonna throw that good. She gonna throw that good good pussy at you. That's the pussy you don't want. That pussy got too many miles. You know what I'm saying, how many miles that pussy got? You gotta you gotta check the mileage. You know what I'm saying you gotta check the. Um, Ex, you know what I'm saying the fucking warranties and shit and expiration dates you never know man after she had one child and she popped out two or three more that that gives you the red flag saying run stay away from them run be like the fucking living dead those chicks now are the living dead you're the fucking people trying to and you're the dudes are trying to survive those chicks is gonna do whatever it takes to get a good man in a home because since they already got scuffed up by fucking by the dudes in a in a in a hood and stuff and the thugs and they figure well he ain't shit he ain't got nothing going for himself and now they want to get with a nice good man with a job stability a house car and everything else because she's already she's already like Oh shoot! I'm already did everything else now, and now I want to be a good man with a good job, who's loving and who can accept all of my three to five kids and the drama that comes along with it. So, yeah, it's fucking crazy, man. It's fucking crazy out there for real. I never been approached. Same thing with my ex-girlfriends who just had kids. One, one that kicked me to a curve for a fucking security guard. I think she already, after her first child that she lost, I think she already had like maybe about two babies by some dude, some bum dude. And now she hit me up after on Facebook. Same thing with another ex-girlfriend. Had a child by another dude. First child, dude ain't in the kid's life, ain't even ain't doing nothing for the kid, and now she's stuck on her own. Yeah, man, it's kind of fucked up. Now she wanna hit me up, and wanna be my friend. Now she not wanna give me no time of day because she knows I'm buying a house in another state, and yeah, she's talking about staying in New York City. You know how expensive New York City is getting now. Rents ain't going lower, it's going up. Areas are being gentrified, and it's getting crazy. I know these women out here. If they don't, most likely, they'll go back to family and don't want to and try to get themselves back together, like going to school and shit. But they want to get back, but they probably want that, you know, they don't want to stay with family, but they want to find that single brother out there who ain't got no kids. Who got his own thing going and probably want to jump on that board and just trying to ruin him by bringing in, you know, your your bas them them bastard ass kids, named with them fucking ghetto names, after a wine bottle, after a fucking beer bottle, after a motherfucking car, after a bag, and shit, after a fucking label, any type of name brand. And stuff is fucking stupid. 
So now, it's a shelter up the street from my house. <laughs> right up on Parsons Boulevard in the Grand Central. Oh my gosh. You know, majority of the shelters around in the Queens area, especially Brooklyn, shelters. Half of it in hotels, the other half shelters. Especially down by the airports. Shelters. All I have to do is just fucking walk in my own business and definitely I'm gonna get chased. Either some little either some fucking woman gonna send her kids to come out and say hi, hello to me and stuff, even if I'm walking in my uniform. This shit never stops, man. I'd be like, yeah, I know. They try to set that trap. They're gonna send the kids first. If the kids won't make it, then they'll try to come out and throw you know what I'm saying? Certain words that you try and get your attention. Shit, they might try and even snatch you up on the street. They say, come here. How you doing? What's your name? What do you do for a living? You live by yourself? If you say, yeah, I live by myself and I have a good job. They're like, bingo. That's like, they don't try to lure you in with that sweet, sweet pussy that they say. That pussy has no value to it. Number of stretch marks, mileage, and how many dicks have been up in there? Better yet, they might even try to sell you a pussy. Pussy you don't want. Never pay for pussy. No matter how old you is, I never pay for pussy. I'm in my 40s. I'm already bagging 23-year-olds. Between 23 and 27-year-old chicks. I never, you know what I'm saying? I never asked for pussy. They ain't got no kids. Maybe one of them had a kid. They throw the pussy at me. I didn't ask for it. I was treating them nice. I was giving them a good time. I was taking them to places they'd never been at. Other than just a chicken spot and Netflix and chill. That's that bullshit. Yo, it's fucking crazy, man. Gentlemen, good jobs. Those educated lames that we've been called all the time because we didn't do the rough stuff like these dudes on the street do because, I mean, hey, you hang around in the projects or in the ghettos, hanging out in the front of the street on a, on a corner store, Chinese restaurant, or in front of some someone's building, your friend's building, or your friend's house, procrastinating, looking like bums. But I'm wondering where the fuck you get the money to get a $300, $300 pair of sneakers from. And you say you ain't got no job. And you got the newest iPhones. I don't get it. Like I said, gentlemen, watch out. These chicks are on the hunt. I'm coming back with another video. And stuff, I guarantee you, black... Spanish, white, they're in the shelters, they are hunting. You might find a good one or two that's in the shelter that's working, who probably had a, you know, had a very big downfall and stuff and try to do her own thing and stuff. But yo, it's fucking crazy. They turn the light on. Yo, it's Ricky Python. I'm out.